Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we have more slimes from the game Slime Rancher. Let's get started. Slime Rancher is one of those games that is just fun. There's nothing too challenging about it, nothing to make you feel frustrated or in a rush. I can just kick back and enjoy running around this cool little world Monomi Park created while collecting different slimes and making sure they get food and don't get angry with me. It's just a really fun experience, and that's what's kept me coming back. And the best part about the game is that it's not even fully released yet. They're still building the game and doing incremental releases, building up to the version 1.0 release. They actually just released version 0.6, which added the new Glass Desert region, among many other things. Getting there is no small task, because you have to navigate through a couple relatively easy puzzles to gain access, then you have to travel through a few ancient looking structures to arrive at a place that seems to be a barren desert. But there are a lot of secrets in the glass desert that allow you to awaken different parts and see what's really hiding. It's a really fun addition to the game, and the best part is that it came with four brand new slimes. And that's what we're going to be creating today. First up, we have the Tangle Slime. These are a docile slime, so you don't have to worry about them hurting you, although they are carnivorous, so hen hens can't say the same. These are green slimes with a flower atop their head, and they can use their vines to grab things in the environment, which makes them a tad mischievous since they can reach their vines underground to grab food and plorts outside of your corrals. So it's best to keep them further away from the rest of your corrals so you don't end up with unwanted tars. Next up is the fire slime. These ones aren't so innocent. They're basically little balls of fire. Their shape is very similar to the water slimes, but obviously on fire instead of in the water. They also seem to be related to the water slime and the fact that they can't create largos with their plorts. These slimes pop up during firestorms in the glass desert, and they'll fizzle out and disappear if they aren't fed ash regularly. I actually decided to try something stupid and spray the fire slimes I just captured with water to see what happened. I don't know what I expected to happen, but they vanished. Not my finest moment. Another very unique slime added in this update was the Dervish Slime. This is a whirly purple slime that kicks up little tornadoes underneath of it to move around quickly. They're a relatively harmless slime, as in they won't hurt you, but if they get agitated they can kick up some big cyclones and wreak havoc on your ranch. And for this video I just created the slime itself, but in future videos I'm going to add the tornado underneath of it to allow it to cause some trouble on my shelves. And last but not least, they added the Mosaic Slime. This is a pretty crazy looking slime, and it appears like it's covered in stained glass tiles. These slimes are extremely bright, and if they get hungry and irritated, they'll create glints around them that will eventually erupt into flames. This one definitely went down as the hardest slime we've had to create yet, both on the modeling side and the painting side, but more on that a bit later. Also, just to add quickly, I reprinted the Quantum Slime so we can get it right. Last time when I created the Quantum Slime, the images I went off for reference had normal eyes. Um, I think there was an earlier version of the game where they actually had black eyes, but as a lot of comments had pointed out, the eyes are actually supposed to be white now. So that was my bad, but we've got the revised version now. So to wrap this up, this was a huge update to the game and lots of very unique slimes. The variety of slimes is part of why I like this game so much. There's just so much to see and collect, and there's different ways of caring for and handling each slime. So there's a lot to do and it doesn't get old very fast. There's also just a really fun aesthetic to the game, so I'm very excited to see what comes next for the Slime Rancher game, and I'm excited to do more in this series of videos. Alright, well there you have it guys. These are the four new uh, Glass Desert Slimes that Slime Rancher just added with their newest update. And we also redid the um, Quantum Slime to give him white eyes to um, match the current version of the game. And I actually wanted to talk briefly about the Mosaic Slime over there. So um, he is by far the hardest slime we've had to do. Um, both my side and Chelsea's side. And the reason he's so hard for my side is because of the type of modeling that I do. So due to a limitation of my modeling skills, I was not able to get him 100% perfect. Each of those little areas should be flat and faceted because he's kind of like stained glass. But um, I wasn't able to do that with my current skill. In order to do something like that effectively, I would need to learn a program like Blender or Maya, which I plan to do eventually, it's just not something um, I'm currently good at. And actually, I think ZBrush has features like that too, but they're not features that I'm familiar with. So this was the best that I could do, um, and Chelsea did an amazing job, but obviously there are limitations on it just being painted plastic. You know, to make it look 100% real, we would kind of just need stained glass. So given all those constraints, I think it actually turned out pretty good. And before we move on any farther in each of these videos, I like to mentioned that I do not sell these. Um, I get a ton of comments below and I probably still will since this is later in the video. 
But um, one, I do not own these. These are, uh, I think it's Monomi Park, Monami. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. But the game company that created Slime Rancher, it's their property. So um, I wouldn't feel right selling these. It probably wouldn't even be legal to. And beyond that, these are incredibly time consuming to create. So I would have to charge an astronomical amount just for one of these guys. And I can guarantee that no one would be willing to pay that. So I do apologize for that, but we do not sell these and we will not ever in the future. And now for the exciting part. So I think these four slimes over here wrap up what uh, Monomi Park has in store for the game until the full release. I don't think there's any more slimes coming. So that will allow me to branch out and do some of the other um, things in Slime Rancher. And actually I have a pretty big plan for Slime Rancher on these shelves. And also I'm going to be increasing the frequency at which I release these videos. So I'm hoping to fill up a couple of these shelves um, here pretty soon. All right guys, well thank you for watching. If you wanna see a more detailed process of the full modeling or the full painting, there are links down in the description to my second channel where I have um, only slightly sped up videos so you can see the whole thing. And then if you're wondering about any of the equipment we use like the paints, airbrush, anything like that, there are affiliate links down in the description to all the products on Amazon. All right guys, well thank you for watching. We'll wrap this up by putting the slide in their place up on my shelf. But before we do that, um, if you're interested in seeing more Slime Rancher, you can click the video on the top right over here. It'll take you to the playlist of all my Slime Rancher videos. If you'd like to see something a little bit different, click the video on the bottom. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep creating. <laughs>